Hey guys, it's Looch, back from my Alone with Everyone annual tour of New York City. It was magical, but while there, <clears throat> the sad news came of the passing of a personal hero to me, Joan Didion, the writer. I'm not making this up. This is the book I had brought with me to reread for the third time. It's called The Year of Magical Thinking. It's her take on grief. Whew. She was an amazing thinker, writer, philosopher, icon. Her nephew, Griffin Dunn, who I love, and I love his movies, and her brother-in-law was Dominic Dunn, a really fascinating family. There's a documentary that I saw many times on Netflix, and I'm certain that it'll be resurging again. And it is called The Center Will Not Hold. And it's really a beautiful look at her life, how she dealt with some impossible loss, kept her creativity, her wit, her unique vision. John died. John and then Quintana. Grief, it's the hardest thing to write about. She did it as a reporter. It was a coping mechanism, it, it turned out. It, it, again, the, the fact that this is the book that I had, <laughs> my, my smudge bookmark, I had with me when I got that news was just, it felt a little serendipitous and I don't know. Joan Didion rightly has earned distinction as one of the most celebrated American writers of her generation. I didn't plan it that way which is very like life itself. She's a writer worth exploring. She, she's written plays, she's written novels, and this particular one, there's actually two. There's one that was right after this one too. I think it's called The Blue Knight. And it's about grief and how she, uh, how she viewed it, how she put it in her eyes. But the whole package of Joan Didion is really complete in the documentary that is on Netflix right now.